Thanks for joining us here for the ABC 6 News webcast. I'm Tanya Carter on this Tuesday, August 23rd, 2016. Well, the feds arrest Congressman Benny Thompson's chief of staff for failing to file tax returns. Isaac Lanier Avant of Arlington, Virginia, has been arrested and charged with five counts of willfully failing to file a tax return. From 2009 through 2013, Avant earned over $170,000 but did not timely file a personal income tax return for any of those years. In May 2005, Avant filed a form with his employer that falsely claimed he was exempt from federal income taxes. Avant did not have any federal tax withheld from his paycheck until the IRS mandated that his employer begin withholding in January 2013. Avant faces a maximum penalty of five years in prison if convicted. No word yet from Congressman Benny Thompson about the arrest. Meanwhile, the president visits Louisiana today, seeing the areas affected by massive flooding last week. 60,000 homes are damaged, affecting thousands of residents. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez has the latest. From the receding flood water to everything it destroyed, President Obama getting a glimpse touring the devastation in southern Louisiana. I hope they see that so many people have just lost everything. I mean, every piece of furniture in my house is on the curb. Um, my walls are on the curb, my carpet is on, you know, everything. The president talking with owners of some of the 60,000 homes that were damaged more than a week ago in the worst natural disaster in this country since Superstorm Sandy. The fast rising water blamed for 13 deaths, 30,000 rescues, with 2,600 people now still living in shelters. What I want the people of Louisiana to know is that you're not alone on this, even after the TV cameras leave. Uh, the whole country is going to continue to support you and help you until we get uh, folks back in their homes and lives are rebuilt. While praised for the federal aid already coming in, a sharp contrast to FEMA's response to Katrina, President Obama also facing criticism. Donald Trump, who visited Baton Rouge last week, among those saying the president should have cut his vacation short to make this trip sooner. How are you? But the governor of Louisiana disagrees, saying an earlier visit would have taken away resources from the recovery efforts, which are clearly still far from over. In Baton Rouge, Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News. All right, thanks, Marcy. Meanwhile, some Delta Boy Scouts are teaming up to help out Louisiana flood victims. Troop 4071, based at St. Joseph Catholic High School, is collecting T-shirts for those in Baton Rouge affected by last week's historic flooding. St. Joseph is also collecting school supplies for Louisiana students. The T-shirts and school supplies will be collected in boxes at Washington School, Greenville Christian, and St. Joe. Troop 4071 Eagle Scouts say that this is the perfect way to combine their yearly project and help those in need every year and we thought that since with all the uh, disaster in Louisiana and you know like they're pretty much on their own right now that it would be a good way to help them out and uh, benefit their community we'd like to do a, a challenge to all other Greenville area Boy Scout troops to do what we're doing and just help the people out down there and just let's get it done now the deadline for donations is Friday at noon the donations will be delivered to Oaks Toyota right here in Greenville Saturday morning at 9.